Leslie. Good morning, Judy. How are you? I am good, thank you. We are excited to be here today. We are at Reedsville Showcase in downtown Reedsville, and they are open. And so we have been very excited about this. They've already done one show. We've got lots of others planned. Right. Um, so tell me how excited you are about it. Well, we're super excited. As you know, this has been a long journey <laughs> and you yeah. have been with us every step of the way. <laughs> we, we appreciate that and the whole city of Reedsville. Um, but uh, we're finally open, so uh, we're really excited about it and we're currently uh, booking next year's shows and um, just looking forward to filling it up with lots of people. So we came out for the exile show and um it was a great show thank you it was wasn't for, it? it was and for those of you that um always came to the theater here um you're going to be shocked when you walk in and see that stage it's huge um i don't think people realized how big that stage was and it's so cool the features that are on that stage like with the i thought it was an old catwalk up there mm -hmm. but dewey told me that was the old uh air system. That's what he says. Right. Yeah. So that's the duct work and it's wooden. Um, so it's really cool. And the brick work, it's gorgeous. So, um, and you guys took out the orchestra pit mm -hmm. and put in concrete and you've got tables out there. Right. Um, the sound system is amazing. It is, sounds so good. Thank you, Judy. So we're, it, it is really, I think people are going to be really surprised um, they're coming into a concert hall. Basically, that's what they're walking into. Right. And um, where can you go to see national recording artists in a very small, intimate setting? And so it's wonderful. We are so excited about it. Yeah, so tell us about the Exile Show, how that went, and, um, and, and that kind of thing. And, and let's talk about what's upcoming. Okay. Yeah, Exile was great. We had a, a great show, and uh, Exile is always great, though. Great band, puts on a great show, great they guys. Did. Um, but we had a great crowd and everybody had a great time and I think everybody was surprised Yes. Um, and pleasantly so. Um, but we're looking forward to Jimmy Fortune in December and the Isaacs in January. We've got Gene Watson, T. Graham Brown, Colin Ray. Um, we're working on a lot more so um, I mean a lot, a lot more big acts so you guys keep your eyes peels, peeled. <laughs> at the, the reedsvilleshowcase.com. So. so, and tickets are on sale now mm -hmm. for Jimmy Fortune, and they you are. said they've just about filled up downstairs. Yeah, so. we've just about filled up downstairs, so if you're interested to come see Jimmy Fortune, and let me just say about Jimmy Fortune, um, wh what you hear on his records or on TV is what you're going to hear right here, and there is not a note different. He is one of the most amazing artists that you can see in person. There is no changes between his albums. You know, a lot of artists are auto-tuned and there's so many things out there nowadays yep. that you might get surprised. That's one of the things we pride our, you know. Yeah, they, they <laughs> really can't so, sing. Right, yeah. and you're going, wait, wait a minute, that's not what I heard, but yeah. that's one of the things we pride ourselves on is, you know, the acts that we bring are true, blue, you know, talented artists. And what you're gonna see on the stage is what you've heard on the radio, and you're gonna be really excited to see it in person. So, but Jimmy Fortune, yep, we're about sold out in the bottom and moving up to the balcony. So if you want some good seats, you better go get them now. And that's in December, right? December, that's correct. So um, you've also got Stephen Freeman coming up. Yep. And Stephen is a, it, Stephen draws a really, we had him at Market Square oh, many yeah. years ago and it brought a huge crowd out there. He's got a, he's an Elvis mm -hmm. um, impersonator and he has an incredible following. It's amazing. I mean, he does cruises. So, mm -hmm. um, with his fans. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's coming up, but that's in January, right? Uh, January 29th. I think we have not got the tickets on sale, but you can be looking for that to be coming soon in the next couple weeks. Um, and he, yeah, he does. If you've not seen, if you're an Elvis fan and you've not seen Stephen Freeman, then you're missing out because he changes the costumes and tells the story and you know I mean and he you're right he has an amazing following he does he's and got an I amazing mean, following I tell you the little women in the front they're passing out it's the funniest thing <laughs> I know. it is funny yeah I love it I love it yeah it's it's great. I don't. I don't think the clothes come off like they did at the Elvis shows. No, but not quite. Yeah, but. They, they're very excited to see him. <laughs> they are so. very excited. Yes. <laughs> so okay. So let's talk about um, the process. So you, we, we just made a couple phone calls to you, talked to you. You came over here, looked at the theater. It it just happened to be the exact kind of fit that the Robertsons who owned the theater previously were looking for. Right. So um, that worked out so well. COVID messed us up. 
Yeah. Um, like it messed up everybody. <laughs> so, um, and then you were able to get some funding through PTRC. Right. And I think, it, I think all in all, it's been a fairly easy process to a certain extent. <laughs> well, and, you, and the city's made it that way. I mean, you and the city and everybody's been behind us. We've had such tremendous support. Um, you know, we have other venues and, um, you know, we were just really overwhelmed and very appreciative of the support. And so that made it a lot easier. Good. I don't think That's if good. we didn't have the support, I think that would have been a very tough process because like you said, we started this before COVID. Right. And so we picked the best time. <laughs> But you know what? We're here now. We're back. We're open, and and we're moving forward. So, so you guys basically left it intact here. We did. Um, downstairs, it's the same seating that was here. Of course, they cleaned it up. It looks really nice. They painted. Um, I know Dewey had said one of the last times we were in here, y'all were looking at painting the floor. Mm -hmm. um, so upstairs, you did replace chairs up there. Yeah, we're going to. We we um, we have them to replace. Okay. We haven't quite got that, but they'll be done before December. So. Yeah, that's working great. on that. We still are a little working. We had to kind of cram some work in there in the those last two months before we opened. But, but, um, but yeah, so it'll be done. Well, that's good. And so, how many can you seat in here? Well, um, <laughs> that's a good question, Judy. <laughs> we had it all down pat. You know, uh, you the, the best laid plans, right? But right. Uh, so we've had to change some things upstairs. So uh, we were at four oh six. So I imagine it will stay somewhere between 375 and 406. We're hoping to get as many seats, obviously, as we can so we can have as many folks to enjoy the wonderful shows as we can. But um, that's where I would guess that it's going to land. So, and that's great, again, because it provides that intimate setting um, that you can see these national artists at that you wouldn't necessarily find, certainly at the, not at the Greensboro Coliseum or the new Tanger Center and that kind of thing. So, Correct. Um, and it's right here in downtown Reedsville. Right. And that's an awesome thing for us. you got the brewery that's opened across mm -hmm. the street. So um, that should help immensely with the crowds. And so we're, we're just really excited. Well, thank you, Judy. We are too. We are. Um, the mural building next door. Mm -hmm. So I know y'all got plans for that. Um, and that will be coming down the road. I don't right. think you've finalized everything that you want to do over there. A, yeah, we're still um, in, you know, talks and trying to figure out, you know, we've, we've got a pretty good uh, foundation, but um, stay tuned for that. So, so we're, we're excited. excited about that because that'll give you more space, right? Um, provide extra dressing rooms and those kind of things, which you need here, don't right. you? Right, yeah. <laughs> so, for sure. And I, I talked to Dewey and we have um, been able to connect you guys with the Theater Guild. And so we're very excited about the uh, Rockingham County Theater Guild um, to be able to help them maybe do some shows here. So yeah. that will be a great thing too. So yeah. they're very excited about that. Well, we're excited just to be involved in the community. You know, um, we want this theater to be um, something that everybody enjoys and all different types of um, art, you know, right. not just music. So right. we're excited about that. Right. And it is art. It, you know, you people think of it as music, but it's art. And that still all ties into the Project Dream Project downtown. So um, I think that's very important that people remember, you know, that Reedsville Downtown Corporation has done a phenomenal job um, bringing that project to downtown with all the artwork, and this just ties in perfectly with it. So. Um, it's a good thing. We're just yeah, so excited about it. We are it. too. We are too. We can't wait to just get going and get rolling and hopefully having shows almost every weekend. So, Well, and I do want to get out there because several people have asked, why isn't there anything on the sign? It's because you can't get the letters. Yeah, the letters are on back <laughs> order. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> We're working so, on it. Uh, yeah. Trust me, that hurts my heart worse than you'll ever I, know. I know, I know. <laughs> because that sign is the centerpiece, but um, but we have ordered them. They're on back order. Just like a lot of things, the stage yeah. curtains. There, there are so many things with COVID um, because of supply and demand and staffing and all kinds of different, you know, I'm sure everybody out there has experienced it at some point. I have half a couch in my living room. Right. So that tells Walk you in the grocery store, you see. Not it, right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, um, but yeah, yeah. We So, well, I just wanted to get that out there. Yeah, so people that's why. Y'all know, gonna... <laughs> know it needs to be on the sign. Yeah. So, um, and I know that you guys are looking at your marketing for these upcoming shows. And I think if you reach out to the Danville Martinsville area, that's going to be a good draw for you as well. Right. So, and you know, we'll help you do whatever we can. We so. appreciate that. Well, I appreciate it, Leslie. And yeah, welcome to you. downtown Reedsville. We are thank so you. happy to have you here. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you to everybody out there. We appreciate it. We want to invite you to come 
see us. We uh, run like a family atmosphere, and uh, we want you to be a part of our showcase family. So thank you all so much. Well, you're welcome. And your staff was phenomenal that oh, night. Oh, thank that, you. It was like walking into an old-time um, venue. It really was. The, the ushers took us right to our seats. They were wearing their bow ties and, um, you know, black and white. It was, it was very, um, very nice, really nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. We pride ourselves in that too, a nostalgic feel to kind of go back to the old days where chivalry, li chivalry lives and, right. uh, you know, the ushers and that sort of thing. So well, I appreciate you. Did you a great, you did Thank a great you. job.